Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So happy to be back with you guys today. We just got home from vacation and I have a very fun video that I am so excited about today. I recently made a wish list of some current and even some not so current eyeshadow palettes that have piqued my interest. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you guys right here. But one of the palettes that was on that list was from KKW Beauty. Now KKW Beauty is a brand that for whatever reason, I usually just skip over. I've not often been super interested in that brand, despite the fact that I have heard some good things about them. But this palette really looked appealing to me. So I went on their website shortly after making that wish list, and I noticed that pretty much everything on their website was somewhere around 20% off. So I could not resist. I ordered a couple of things. I have them right here. I haven't even opened the box yet. So we're going to open them up together today. We'll go through the things that I got. We'll do some swatches. Of course, we'll be doing a makeup look. I do have that palette in here along with a couple other goodies that I think are going to be fun to try out. I hope you guys are excited about it. Before we jump into the video, I want to give a special welcome to any new visitors to my channel. So happy to have you here. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave. And with that said, let's get to it. Okay guys, so here is my little box. We're going to go ahead and take my little handy dandy razor blade right here and open this thing up. So this box, we actually got home two days ago. It's been sitting next to my makeup area for two days. And man, you guys, I've been so tempted to open up and take a peek. It felt kind of like having a cheesecake in the fridge that you're not supposed to eat. Who am I kidding? A cheesecake definitely would not have made it two days. So here is what I ended up getting. So I got the camouflage palette. I think this is actually called the camel palette. Yep, the camel palette. Look at look how cute that is. I hope the inside packaging looks like this. I also got the highlighter that came along with that palette because assuming that the packaging has this on it and the highlighter is a decent formula and color, this might be one of my new favorite highlighters. Like how I'm saying that and I haven't even opened the box yet, but I thought it'd be fun to try that one out. And I've also heard some good things about KKW Beauty's lip products. Their lip liners, I did pick up one, this lip liner right here. I ended up going with the shade Nude 1.5 and then I went with two lipsticks that we'll see I hope these work out for me because they were a little bit a little bit pricey I actually don't think her lip products were incredibly expensive and as I mentioned I did get everything for like 15 or 20 percent off so let's jump into the palette first and take a look at it and then towards the end of the video we'll do the rest of my makeup I forgot to mention I do have some makeup on right now I have foundation on today I used my Milani soft focus glow I used my elf camo CC cream for concealer I used my Revlon candid concealer and then I have a little bit of bronzer and I use the hourglass bronzer and that's pretty much all I have on and I did brush a little bit of the elf brow wax into my brows but that's as far as I got so let's jump into the palette first so here is oh it's so cute the KKW Beauty camel palette I will insert for you guys right here a closer look at the palette packaging and how it looks swatched on my arms but let's open it up for the first time together all right you guys oh that looks really nice this looks so, so me. Mm, I cannot wait. And if you guys are into camouflage designs like I am, this is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. I just think it's so adorable. Can't wait to try those though. I've heard some good things from some of you guys. I believe Allie Glines has said some really good things about KKW Beauty's eyeshadows at least. And her lip liners. I'm pretty sure Allie's also recommended her lip liners. Let's now take a look at the highlighter. So here it is right here. This is the highlighter in the shade victory oh i'm always like please don't be smashed when i open it there it is a really nice shade i'm gonna give it a little live swatch for you guys right here Ooh, that's pretty you guys know how much i love a champagne gold the shade of this kind of reminds me of the mac highlighter it's just a lot more rich and creamy at least with a finger swatch i've only finger swatched it so far so i guess i don't know how it's going to perform on the cheeks but i cannot wait to give it a try now let's have a look at the lip liner first so this looks pretty small i'm surprised I mean, it's pretty short i have a feeling there's probably not a lot of product in here but they're pretty affordable i think these even full price were not crazy expensive the feel of these kind of reminds me of the color pop Lip liners, they have kind of the plastic sharpenable pencil area, which I love the ColourPop lip liner, don't get me wrong. They are some of my favorite, more affordable lip liners, but as much as I love their lip liner formula and colors, I've never been a huge fan of the plastic packaging that you have to sharpen. I find it to be a little bit more difficult to get a sharp edge on it once that initial sharp edge is gone. But let's have a look at how this swatches. Oh, that looks like a good shade. Ooh, that's a pretty nude. Mm, just how I like my nudes to be. Can't wait to try that out. Let's have a look at the lipsticks next. So I got two lipsticks, the shade Nude 1 and the shade Nude 3.5. Very interesting packaging. It's pretty cute, actually. It's clear. You can see the inside like mechanism right there. 
let's have a look at this one, which is the shade Nude 1. Have a feeling, just from what I was seeing on the website, this one would be pretty light. And yeah, it does look pretty light, probably for me. But this is the kind of shade that you can use to lighten up other lipsticks or use in combination with a lip liner to kind of create something not so light in tone. It's definitely very, very light. If you have like medium to deep skin, unless you really like that almost concealer looking lip, which I think can be done the right way. Like there's, I've seen people pull off that type of a lip, but I think it's a tricky thing to do and not look kind of off. I don't know. I don't know that I can even do it. We'll see. But I'm excited to try this. And then let's have a look at the shade 3.5. And you guys, I apologize for my voice. I hope I make it to the end of this video. I already have a deep voice. So when I have any sort of a cold, this does look very peachy toned. I mean, I don't know. We'll see about that one. I generally prefer a little bit more pink in my lipsticks on my skin tone, but we'll give it a try. It looks like a good range for me. It's not too light or too dark. It just has a little more kind of brown or peach than I typically like to wear on me, but we'll give it a try and see how it looks. Maybe I will change my mind. It's been a while since I've done a more peach or brown toned lip. Okay. So let's jump into the eyes first because that's what I am most excited to try. But before I do that, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a hair. All right, guys, I'm gonna try very, very hard to stay in focus. This is always a little tricky when I zoom in, but let's have another close look at the palette right here. This looks stunning. I love that there are some really nice neutrals in here. Just based on first glance, I really love that there's a kind of more gray, taupey colored, very light transition shade kind of surprises me the lightness and tone of these two shades right here. I've never met Kim Kardashian. I don't know exactly what her skin tone is like, but just from pictures I've seen, it seems like she's more medium complected, but I think these will work really well even for my very fair skin. In fact, maybe they're like highlight shades on her. I'm not really sure. I also love that you get a more warm peach tone and kind of these two sort of mustardy shades. This one's more warm. This one has a little more green in it. They look like really nice staple neutrals. Let me give one a little finger swatch. I actually haven't swatched these at all yet. Ooh, they feel very nice. Oh, those look like good basics. Let's swatch this dark brown and of course this dark green matte. All of these are mattes. I'm just gonna give them a quick swatch, live swatch on the back of my hand. Those look lovely. They feel very promising. And since we did that, we've got to swatch a couple of shimmers as well. So let's take this one. This looks like a really nice light toned, almost cooler bronze. Let's give that one a swatch right here. Sorry, my hands are just a little bit stained. That looks really, really beautiful. Definitely want to swatch this green down here. And then this green, which looks like kind of a duo duochrome. Okay, so here's the deeper one. Really nice kind of green bronze. It has more bronze in it than it looks in the pan. And then this is the duochrome. That looks stunning. That has quite a bit of green in it. That's beautiful. Ooh, I can't wait to play with that. And then let's do this copper color and this kind of gray deeper sort of green. So here's the bronze, beautiful classic bronze. And then there is the medium or deeper grayish green. That's lovely as well. Cannot wait to play with these. This is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So let's just jump in. I'm going to take my rougher number 16 brush. Ooh, do I want to do warm or cool today? I think I do want to do something kind of warm to try and coordinate with my warm toned lips. So we're going to take this very light, kind of like a creamy mustard shade. There's a little bit of yellow in it. I'm gonna run that all over my, just above my crease. It's really nice, very, very subtle. I do wanna add just a little bit more depth. I'm gonna take this shade right here. So we started with this one, now we're gonna go into this one, which is a good warmer mid-tone brown, just on the tip of that same brush. And I'm gonna run this up and down the stairs, just right in the socket there. Very lightly, I'm not pressing very hard at all. I want this shade to give me some like good definition, so I'm not gonna press very hard. So I think I'm just gonna really layer up the matte browns in here from lightest to darkest. So next I'm gonna go to this matte brown in the corner, it's just a hair deeper and we're going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to take my refer number 13 brush for this shade. I'm going to kind of do what I did with that last shade, but this is just going to be a little bit more precise or detailed. Far, I'm really happy with these mattes. They're blending very, very easily. Okay, so there we have it so far. I'm gonna go back to that last shade we used, this one right here. I wanna build this up 
a little bit on this outer part of the lid. So we're going to start building up a deeper color in this outer corner and I want to have a little bit of a base down first. Okay, now let's take my refer number, and my brushes are so clean I hardly recognize them. It's <laughs> the refer number two brush. I'm going to take that same shade I just used, the kind of mid-tone brown right there. We're going to run that along the lower lash line, close to the lashes, about, about two-thirds of the way in, just kind of where my that the iris, very Dijon vibes right now. And now we're gonna change that by adding some green. So I wanna start off with this deep matte green right here. I'm gonna take that same number 13 brush. I'm gonna start building this up in the outer corner. This shade looks so pretty. Oh, that's nice. So as I mentioned, we just got back from vacation like a day and a half ago and I got home does this happen to you guys? Whether it's from like a vacation or if you've just been preoccupied with things and then you like have to get to things that have maybe been on your, like on the back of your mind or your back burner for a while. I have a whole bunch of like things I need to get done. A lot of them have to do with like housework and yard work, emails I need to send, but they constantly pop up in the back of my mind. I haven't made a to-do list yet or anything, but I feel like I need to get them all down on a to-do list because I'll start thinking about them and then I start getting really stressed out. And I kind of hate that feeling where something's like hanging over you, but I'm not very organized. So I feel like I'm one of those people that always has to do items that are constantly hanging over their head. And one of those things is vacuuming out my beauty area down here right before I started filming this video. There was a spider on my floor, probably because nobody's been down here for like 12 days. And I had to pay my son a dollar to kill it. It was too big for me to kill. I'm happy to let the spiders live if they're outdoors, but I can't have them in my room. And I, I just, I don't know that anyone in my family has the courage to trap them in a jar and free them outside. So don't hate me that there's the blood of a spider on my hands this morning. Actually, it's on my son's hands, but I did pay him for it, so. Okay, that looks so pretty. I love the mix of like the touch of green, those camely browns. Very happy with this one so far. I'm trying to decide, should we do more of the muted greens, like this champagne -y taupe and this green right here. Should we do something kind of golden green? Ooh, this is tricky. I really wanna try this duo chrome, so let's, let's do that. Let's start with this shade right here. We're gonna kind of pop that all over the lid. This is kind of more sheer, so I think some of that depth that we added to the outer corner, just going about two thirds of the way across, I wanna leave that corner kind of blank and open and then I'm taking this all the way across the inner part of my lid. All right, that is really nice. I wanna apply a little bit of this one. Actually, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna apply my highlighter to my inner corner. I think that's good for now. I'm trying to think, do I wanna do anything more on the lower lash line? I think it looks pretty good as is. I'm just gonna give it one more blend right here. And actually, I'm gonna take just a little bit more green on this brush right here, the refer number two. I'm just gonna deepen up and kind of shape out this outer corner right here, just to bring back some of that definition that we might have lost when we put that shimmer down. Also just finishes off the shape on this outer corner. I always love to do this. Next I'm gonna add a little bit of this Gel Glide On Liner. This is from LA Girl. It's actually not my liner of choice, but I need to start trying to use up some of these other eyeliners that I have in there. I do like this one. I just think these gel liners can be a little bit trickier to work with because they apply so much product down. It's harder to get a good shape with them, at least for me. Okay, so there's eyeliner. Let's add a couple of coats of mascara. And for that, I think today, I'm gonna take my Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. I'll add a couple of coats of that. Then I'll zoom you guys back out and we'll finish off with the rest of the face, my final thoughts, and then we'll be all done. All right, guys, so here are the finished eyes. I also apply, I forgot that I didn't have any eyebrow product in, so I went in with a little bit of my Ulta Ultra Slim Brow Pencil, along with my ColourPop Feather Effect Styling Wax. 
I love this eye look. It is so, so pretty. I do want to compare this palette or do some minor comparisons to two other palettes that I own that the color story of this one sort of reminds me of a little bit. So we'll get into that towards the end of the video, but let's finish off with the rest of the face. Starting off with some blush. I don't have any blush products from KKW Beauty, but today I want to add a little bit of this Cheek Dew from ColourPop. This one is in the shade Bubbles. It's a really warm, it's kind of a deep shade, but I actually really love the deeper shades of these Cheek Dews. They go on so beautifully. So I'm taking that on just kind of a dual fiber fluffy brush and I tap that onto the brush itself and then just tap that onto the apples of my cheeks. This is a really pretty warm almost terracotta like orangey red. I just love the dewiness that these cheek dews give. Love that. Let's add some highlighter. So we're going to take the KKW Beauty highlighter in the shade Victory. I'm going to take my refer number 19 brush and we're going to add a little bit of this. Let's start on the center of my nose. Kind of gauge how pigmented this is. It's pretty pigmented. It's pretty, but I mean this could get icy pretty quickly. So I would say use a light hand you're not sure you want something really icy and intense. Can't remember if they had another shade. I think they did have more than one shade of these. I will link it for you guys down below. This would work for very, very fair skin. I mean, that's pretty. Reminds me of the color of Flexitarian, actually, now that I'm using it. It's even more light, I think, than the MAC one. Pretty, though. I think that looks really nice. Sorry, my lights are a little bright. There we go. Hopefully that will give you guys a better idea of the color and just how bright that one is. I think that looks really nice. Let's finish off the look with the lips. So let's take the KKW Beauty lip liner. Again, this one is in the shade 1.5 nude. I'm just going to line this bottom center. And a little on top. This is a really good formula. It does remind me a ton of even the ColourPop formula. Just really nice and creamy. I like it. I think it's going to look nice with these two lip colors. So let's start off with the lipstick in the shade 3.5, the darker one. Add a little bit of this almost just right beneath where I put that lip liner. All right, so there it is with that color initially. I am not sure what I think about it. Honestly, I'm not sure that like brown tone nudes look very good on me. I don't know if that's just because I'm used to wearing pinker toned nudes or I've kind of been in that sort of a mood lately. Like the JK Magic, this color is a little bit more brown, but it has the slightest touch of pink in it that makes it work for me as a warmer, kind of more peachy nude. This one is quite brown. I'm going to add a little bit of the lighter shade in one on top and just see. This one is very light, but I, oh, that's very light. I think it has a little bit of pink in it though. Maybe these two shades kind of merge together. I can get it to work for me. Okay, we're going to try one more thing. I, I'll be honest, I'm not really digging the lip color on me right now. I really like the lip liner. I think I'll get a lot of use out of the lip liner. I'm not sure how I feel about these shades of lipstick. Mostly the darker one. It's much too warm. I just feel like this whole look looks a little off now that I have this lip color on. I'm not sure why that is. I want to add just a little bit of gloss on top. For that, I'm going to take a little bit of my Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I know this is going to kind of change the color of the lipstick. So here is the color of those two lipsticks combined. I just feel like I need a little bit of pink on top of this. It's just, I don't know. This is just not a good shade for me. And I hope this will help a little. I do really like the formula of those lipsticks. So they're really nice and creamy. All right. So there it is with a little bit of gloss. I think it looks a little bit better. Still kind of wish my lips were pink. I've just been in such a pink mood lately that I'm having a hard time seeing my face without pink on my lips. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but overall I'm pretty impressed with everything that I tried out today. Happy with the lip liner on the fence about the lipsticks, but I'll keep playing with them. The eyeshadow I think looks incredible. Beautiful look. Very happy with the quality of these shadows so far. I'll let you guys know how they wear. The highlighter I think is really pretty. I'm really surprised at how light this highlighter is. I will love this highlighter, especially when I'm a little bit more fair. I think I'll still get some use out of it right now, but really happy with the formula. It's really nice and 
smooth. It's reflective without being too chunky or too glittery or anything like that. So before I close out this video, I do want to compare this palette to two other palettes I have in my collection that the colors in here kind of reminded me of a little bit. I'm not quite sure. I haven't checked them yet if they're dupes or anything, but I want to compare them. And the two that I thought of are the Nomad palette by Juvia's Place along with the Boudoir Noir palette right here. So let's start with the ColourPop palette. So these look... There are definitely some similarities. I think the matte green inside this one is deeper than the matte green inside here on first glance. The brown inside here looks a little warmer, whereas this is more of a charcoal -y matte brown. Let me just give a couple of these a little swatch for you. So let's compare the matte greens. Here we have the ColourPop palette. Here we have the KKW Beauty palette. Okay, so those actually swatch more similarly than they look in the pan. They're quite similar to each other. Next, let's compare this mustardy kind of mid-tone brown in the ColourPop palette right there to this mustardy brown in the KKW Beauty palette. Okay, those two are pretty close as well. Now let's do the deep matte brown. So here is the one in the ColourPop palette and here is the one in the KKW Beauty palette. I haven't used this brown yet. Ooh, that's beautiful warm brown. You can see this one has quite a bit more charcoal or it's a little bit deeper even than this one. This one's quite red based. Now I want to compare this kind of warmer mid-tone brown right here. This is ColourPop. It actually is pretty similar to that one right there from KKW Beauty, but I'm going to compare it to this shade right here from KKW Beauty. Somewhat similar. This one's a little bit more brown tone. This one has a little bit more pink in it, but pretty similar shades. But other than those mattes, I don't see any shimmers in here that I feel like are duplicates, but definitely if you're into this for the mattes and you already own this one, this gives you quite a few options for the ones in the KKW Beauty palette. Now I want to compare it to a couple shades in the Nomad palette. There's definitely a lot of shades in here. I would say these yellows and this orange. I'm not seeing in the Nomad palette, but some of these might be somewhat similar. So let's have a look. Starting with this shimmer right here, this is the Juvia's Place Shimmer. This one's very, very golden tone. This one I have a feeling is a little bit more cool tone. We're gonna compare it to this one. Here we go, that's the KKW Beauty Shimmer. They're both very beautiful. This one's just a little bit more golden in tone. I also wanna compare this greeny brown right here in Juvia's Place. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a little bit deeper to this kind of greeny brown right here from KKW Beauty. Yeah, pretty similar. It is deeper, the Juvia's Place one, but the tone is pretty similar. Now let's compare the matte brown. So here is the deep matte brown in Juvia's Place. This one also looks more kind of a blackened or charcoal based brown. This one in the KKW Beauty. This one's quite a bit warmer, not quite as deep and has a little bit more of a red or warm base to it. And then last I wanna compare this kind of peachy matte shade right here. This is not gonna show up super well on the underside of my arm, but I wanna compare that to this shade. These ones look quite similar to each other. This is the first shade that I used on my eyes today. This one's a little bit deeper, the KKW Beauty one. All right, so there are a few similarities in those palettes. Definitely not duplicates, I would say, but if you're looking at this palette, wondering if you need it in your life, maybe you have some of these other ones in your collection, hopefully that will help you decide whether or not this is a palette for you or one that you can pass on. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed trying out some things from KKW Beauty. Overall, I was pretty impressed. Thrilled with the packaging of these. I'm pretty thrilled with this eyeshadow palette, despite the fact that I found some close alternatives in my collection. I still think this will be a palette that I'll probably use quite a bit, especially for its adorable packaging. I will keep you guys updated on the lipsticks, how those end up working out for me. If those are a miss, more than likely it's going to be because of the shades and not because of the formula. I actually really liked the formula of those. I thought they went on really nice and creamy, good pigmentation, didn't really emphasize lines or settle into the lines in my lips too badly so far. I'll let you know as I use them a little bit more, but that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about KKW Beauty. Do you have some of her other palettes? I was surprised when I went on her website how many really beautiful looking palettes she has released. I had no idea. Let me know if you guys have tried out some of her other palettes, if you have any recommendations for me, because I was pretty impressed with this one today. But that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And for anyone that is not yet subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing that before you leave. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye. Oh man, I should have worn my camo shirt today. opportunity. I'm really wild about this shirt today. Either the 
like got a weird, it's like too high. I don't know, it's got a weird neck on it. I'm so sorry about the voice. I sound awful, awful. I feel fine, I just sound awful. Now might be a good time for that David Bowie impersonation.